Hello everybody! Today I am going to talk about future releases and leaks for new Totaku figurines. First of all, I would like to add to my last video there exist also six big box Totaku with Golden Cash Bandicoot. I was reminded of that in the comments so I would like to thank you for that and I hope that you will bring more useful information for whole collector community. There are three parts of this video. First, future releases that are already officially confirmed and can be found on mytotaku.com. Second, those that are highly probable and were leaked earlier this year in April, May. And third, those that are less probable or speculative. So let's start. There are five Totakus that are confirmed to be released this year. Whether they will be released this year, that's a big question mark. So three were supposed to be released in September. Even that we have already October and there were no releases whatsoever, neither on US side nor in Canada, nor that I know about in Europe. So maybe we will get them in October or beginning November. So those are Spyro Trilogy, then Beautiful Joe, and Joanna Dark. For November, original Pac-Man is confirmed. And for December, original look of Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. So those are Totakus that are confirmed and unless there will be changes given on the website, we can look forward to get them sometime soon, hopefully by the end of this year. Then there are leaks that are highly probable. In April this year, somebody has posted his pre-order from GameStop in Reddit and I will leave the link below so that you can check that uh, Reddit post. It was supposed to be Crash in the racing car, Reaper, the blue kangaroo in the racing car, then also Crash with Aku Aku Mask. Then there are more Sonic figurines, Sonic in the racing car and I would say anticipated Shadow in the racing car. So those were the leaks from April. Whether they will all happen is unknown, but given that we already got some Crash and Sonics, it's highly probable as the rights for these figurines were already purchased. In September this year, there was a short leak on the GameStop website in US featuring more future releases. There was again Crash in the racing car, then Crash with the racing trophy, then Shadow, this time there was nothing mentioned about the racing car, so maybe we will get him in the racing car and maybe not. Dr. Eggman or Mr. Robotnik, depending how you know him, from Sonic the Hedgehog, maybe in the racing car, maybe not. Those are again very probable. So we might not get them all, but we will get definitely some of them. And I would say, since we have already main villain for Crash, it would be also nice to have a villain for Sonic as well. Now let's go for the third part, and those are with the biggest question mark. Because we don't know yet if rights were purchased for this figurine properly or not, or if they are just considering them. From those others, there was rumor about Ellie from The Last of Us, and given that we will have soon Last of Us 2, I hope that this will be right. Also for Zitz from Battletoads, 
a very old game that is going to get a new release. Then Max Caulfield from Life is Strange, Ratchet and Clank from Ratchet and Clank, Sekiro, that one is a big title. And the last one is supposed to be Sir Daniel Fortesk from Medieval. So it just might be that even Medieval itself will get a new code and release. Who knows? These are the rumors that we have and this is what we are looking forward to. What is also official that on the website itself there are 10 new to be defined totakus. So maybe most of this will happen or maybe some of them will happen some not. We will see soon enough. And of course we have still the mysterious number 14 that was already April fooled as Leisure Suit Larry and then this claim is not to be true, obviously. So everybody is wondering what is that one about. In the third part of this guide I will give my opinions and ideas where is Totaku going to if it has future and what I think about it as a business. Thank you very much. If you like this video, you can give it a like, you can subscribe and of course you can comment and add more details. I will add in the description my sources for all these rumors and also a very good post from Reddit where somebody was speculating on what will be released under which number. So feel free to read it and see you next time. Bye!